Hello. In this video, I'm going to show you how to customize the terminal in Linux Mint. And with the terminal open, I'm going to go to Edit, and then to Profile Preferences. Under the General tab, you can name the profile, which I'm going to rename it Mint, which is the user's name. You could use the system fixed width font, which is what it's set at right now, which is obviously way too small. So I'm going to uncheck that box. And then if I clicked on this, I can configure the font style and size, and I'm going to leave it right where it is. And I'm going to click OK. Down below there's a checkbox to allow bold text, and I leave that checked. I leave show menu bar by default and new terminals checked, and I also leave terminal bell checked. Under cursor shape, you can have it underlined. I-beam or a block. You can see the block. You can use a custom default terminal size, which I'm going to check. And next I'm going to go to Title and Command. You could rename the terminal, and I'm going to rename it. And as you can see up at the top of the screen, now it says Learning to Compute. You can tell it what to do when the terminal commands set their own titles. You can replace the initial title, append initial title, prepend initial title, or keep initial title. And I'm going to leave it at Replace Initial Title. Under Command, you can run a command as a login shell. You can update login records when a command is launched, which I have checked. And you can also run a custom command instead of my shell. Now I'm going to go to Colors. Here's where you adjust the foreground, background, bold, and underline settings. If I check the box Use Color from System Theme, it'll automatically select the background color for me. Under Built-in Schemes, I'm set to Custom. You can set the white on black, green on black, gray on black, black on white. So if I chose green on black, you can see now that the cursor is green. If I selected white on black, now the cursor is white. Gray on black, the cursor is gray. And I'm going to leave it set on white on black. You can adjust the text color by clicking on the color and then selecting a new color from the wheel. If I select OK, now it's red. I'm going to put it back to white. Background color, if you clicked on that, again you can select a color. If I hit OK, the background color is changed. And I'm going to change the background color real quick. Under palette, you have the built in schemes. Mine's set to custom right now. You have four other options here. But you can set what color applications will be displayed as. If I go to background, background you can select a solid color which is set right now or I could select a background image if I tick that I can search for an image reset the transparency to about right there I can also have it set to where the background image scrolls as the screen fills with text I'm gonna leave that unchecked I could set it to a transparent background which if I did that, that's my desktop right there. I'm going to bring it back up. I'm going to recheck the background image. Now I'm going to go to the scrolling tab. Here you can choose which side of the screen the scroll bar is located on. Right now mine's set to the right side. You can set it to the left side or you can disable it. You can have a scroll on output, a scroll on keystroke. I'm going to leave mine set as scroll on keystroke. And then there's a few options under compatibility also, but I haven't had to mess with these, so I'm not going to go into them. Now I'm going to close the profile preferences. And that's how you customize the terminal in Linux Mint. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.